All right, team, we're out here again this morning. We've just had a mint run of weather for about 10 days now. We'll get out past the island. It's about 30 meters to start at the current stage. You don't really have a plan apart from try and film a gurnard on the camera. So I might try and take that first thing. See if I can't get a couple on the camera, which I've been trying to do forever. Let's get out there. It's take us about half an hour to get to the island as normal. And we'll anchor up and try and find some fish. All right, we're gonna try here. A few little marks down there. So, a few fish moving through the area. Well, we got something on the camera. Please be a good and then I can take this off and we can probably go out a bit wider. Man, it's heavy. What have we got? Oh, finally. Finally on the camera. Oh, big gurney too. Go on, be rolling still. Yes, we're rolling still. Nice. God, I hooked him in the head. How has that happened? I find this absolutely crazy. I've never hooked a gurney in the head, always in the mouth. This one rocketed in so fast and so hard that the hook pulled out of its mouth and then got lodged in the top of its forehead. You see something new every day. Oh, that is so lucky. Got another fish. Yep. Nice. There's more down there too. Oh, another one. Down. We've got a couple of nice gurneys. Start the morning, pretty fast, so happy. We've got a few are on the bite pretty quickly in the current. This is the better of the two, and he bit the camera. After catching two in short order, I dropped the camera straight back down, and there was a gurnard waiting for it. This fish, however, didn't seem that interested in feeding, rather just teasing me on the camera by sitting nearby and walking around. Eventually, a separate fish came in and he seemed a bit more keen. Here's another hook up on the camera. Yes, got another one on the camera. It's 
go rolling. Nice. Try a bit of sand mar. See if it brings in some more fish. It looks like this, the leather jackets are into the fish bites a little bit much at the moment. That's the third fish that's come in right after it's touched down. So this shows me I should be ready as soon as the sinker touches the bottom. It seems like the leather jackets are leaving the Sanmar baits alone, so this was a good choice to change over. Good one, I think. Oh, taking line. That's pretty serious to take line. Oh, I wonder what that is. Oh, and I've got my Trevelli, eh? <laughs> On the camera too. First shred out here. Haven't got one yet, and we've ticked that one now. So really, it's just John Dory and Harpooker to go. We've caught just about everything there is to catch out here. It didn't take long for the baits to get hit again. Might even be another Trev. Oh, yeah. Keeper. Actually, I think we can do better than you, so you can go home. Lucky you. Big one. Something followed it though. At least it's a snapper. It's a gurnard. Yeah, I think you're in. Yeah. Really nice at egg size here. Now it was time to drop the camera back down and see what else we could record.
after just over three minutes of playing with the baits, the goon had finally hooked himself on the top hook. Pretty mad fishing at the moment. Pretty happy I stayed. Because now I'm just smashing them one after the other. I can go down. <laughs> Nothing solid yet apart from the trev. Another one. Oh, he's good. Good one. With the fish biting hard, I needed to get the camera down as soon as possible. Once again, looking at the bite, there were two fish competing for the bait. Pretty solid, good amount of weight. Nice big head shakes. line now oh it's another trevelli <laughs> just bring him in nice and fast so he doesn't tangle up the other line too much yeah that was down there for an hour so that'll be our last one, I think. We'll let him go, we've already got a nice one. There you go. Two trevs after not having caught any. Sent himself. Final fish for the spot is we're packing up. Pretty cool. Might even send it back down there just while I sort everything. Oh, he's not the greatest. Uh, there you go. Let him go. There you go. Drop it back down. Try to bloody pull the anchor up. Uh. might be a better one trying to pull the anchor left the rod down and fish is still biting but we've got enough now that we can move on happy this might be the last one before we go head off somewhere else and look for something different hopefully it's a nice big fat one it'll put the a really nice cherry onto the spot I think he's a nice ski, he's certainly a keeper. Just get this one all sorted. After a chaotic three hours of fishing, with tons of fish on the camera and plenty more in the bin, the day wasn't over yet. I pulled the anchor and we were gonna go hunt down something a bit bigger but you'll have to wait till next week to see what happens on the next spot. Hey, seagull. That's a better spot to be than on the water. Sitting there on a boat for free. 
Special thanks to Mike over on Patreon for supporting at the Snapper tier. I wouldn't be able to do the videos without some supporters. So thank you so much again, Mike, for supporting. And I hope to see you all in the next video.